Shalom Yashra, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakrash, the bunch, the apostles, and those great Muslim who rule one who tells the truth, and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and sincerity with charity. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind. You see, so the disciples. Uh, knew and understood reincarnation as we all did, you see, because it was a, a we discontinued from our heritage, you know, Jeremiah 17 and 4. All right, but prior to that, hey, we knew that we were Israelites, we knew the name of the Lord. All right, but our, our people are just continually wicked, man. <laughs> you know, only the elect are going to return and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right, but this is verse three. Yahweh Shai answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. You see? So here it is, you know, we all knew about reincarnation. You see? This is um, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one, verse nine. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun and if you look above you know when you're outside the sun's above us right we're under the sun we're on the earth this is the place of judgment all right this is second Ezra chapter 14 verse 35 and it reads for after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. All right. So, you know, after after uh, after death. All right. The, the our body goes back to the ground. You see where it came from. And then our spirit goes back to the heavenly father, man, the father of spirits. All right. And we stand right bef before him and he judges us. Uh, you know, he judges us according to what we did in our lives. All right. And then we have to come out and play that judgment, you know, three or four generations down the line when we come back on the earth. All right. Through the lineage of our father. You see, that's why the disciples asked the Lord in John nine, who did sin this man or his parents that he was born blind? You see, so hey, the Lord was doing the work there. All right. Performing miracles. You see, because it's all about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and his people. All right, and this is to build up our faith, all right, in the, for the times to come. So that what, you know, we, we are knowledgeable of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. We know and understand the Lord is going to build your confidence, all right, which means with faith. And, and that's what we're here to do is to warn our people and build up the elect, man. Build up the elect for that evil day. So you got to know. The hundred percent truth, man. Reincarnation is biblical. All right, reincarnation means to be back in the flesh. You see, and we've been here many times. We were there in Egypt. I mean, we we all witnessed it. It said we were all under that cloud, that big you know chariot or UFO, as Esau says. Okay, and even now, man, th these are things that that we once knew. So when we read these scriptures and bring out the understanding, hey, we stir up the you know their pure minds to remembrance, man, of the elect. All right. This is um. Uh, let me go back to Ecclesiastes chapter three. Yeah. Verse uh, three and fifteen: That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. You see, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, like in one and nine, and God requireth that which is past. So, you know, whatever you did in your past life, when you when you pass away, you come back to live out that judgment. The, the Most High requires that. Or right, remember, the Most High is a just balance. You see, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Okay. So no, you, you gotta pay for your actions, man. You see, and that's why it's important to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because we will all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, this is verse sixteen. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. This is where people get judged, man. Right here on the earth. All right, 
that wickedness was there and there's plenty of wickedness there here you know it's it's multiplied okay and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there you see and even the righteous man have fallen into iniquity we've fallen short you know this flesh is subject to vanity all right so knowing these things hey we have to apply you know what we've learned to fight it to fight this flesh to put the flesh under subjection you see and it's that's why it's important to to read these scriptures to get understanding all right don't be like these two-third israelites because there's two-third israelites man all right they know they're israelites but they're not living accordingly how israelites should okay they don't have the breath they don't they don't have everything you know what i'm saying they're lacking you see and that's why it's important to go into these basic uh, uh, breakdowns so that you understand, all right? And, and you, then you can put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see? The whole, the whole armor of God, man, straight up. And uh, let me see. Um, one second. scripture yeah oh okay I see yes this is the book of Numbers chapter 14 verse 18 the Lord Yahweh is his name Yahweh is long suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation you see so that's why like right now we're blowing the trumpet we're warning our people all right because listen we've all fallen short you see but if you hear the voice of Yahweh Bashim Shai now and you turn back and repent, you change your ways and you put on as uh, you put on the new man. All right, you put on as the elect. Because Yahweh Shai, hey, his sacrifice, uh, hey, his blood, it, it heals us, man. All right, it, it blots out all of our iniquities, all our transgressions. But you have to turn to the Lord now. All right, you have to change your life and follow Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see? You have to you have to show your faith. You have to prove it by by doing the, these works, all right, and, and keeping the laws, the statutes, and the commandments to the best of your ability. We're still in this flesh, but there's things that you could fight off, like you could stop eating pork and shrimp and lobster and crab. You could stop committing adultery. You know these are things that you can stop, man. You could fight this flesh, all right, and it starts with the fear of the Lord. You see. Because, hey, the Lord is coming to, to bring judgment to this place. The majority of the world is, is going to be deleted. Okay? And, and hey, he's very long-suffering. He's, he's very merciful. But don't take that for granted, man. Don't think you come in the last minute and say, oh, the Lord will forgive me. He'll, you know what I mean? Nah. <clears throat> the Lord knows your heart, man. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach chapter 5, verse 5. Uh, concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And verse 6, and say not his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. You see? So don't be adding, you know... You know, more to your list, man. All right. We, we've all, you know, fallen short. And, and you know, waking up to this truth, hey, all the shit you've done, let it be enough. Let it be suffice. You see? Because I'll tell you, even in this walk, being in the truth, you're going to fall short. You're going to make mistakes, you know? But we're striving for the masteries. We're, we're striving to be holy. We're striving to be perfect like our father, Yahweh. Okay? 
And Yahweh Shai has shown us the way, man. He's the blueprint to follow. You see? So repent, man. All right? Because, hey, the Lord, you know, you could be coming back here for judgment or for salvation, man. Verse 7, Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 7, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see? So you got to be mindful of these things and, and learn to fear the Lord, man. Be sincere and, and meet for repentance. All right? Because the Lord knows your heart. He knows his elect. He knows. He already knows who's predestined for destruction and who's predestined for salvation, man. So that's why, you know, come, come to him with fear and trembling, you know, hoping in his salvation, you see. So follow the Lord as we do. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting again. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakparash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Who rule well and who taught us the truth and salutations to all the Akiyam, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom and a Babba Ball.